Welcome to another episode of PeaceMag TV. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Reaper and the SWS or Standing Water Studios extensions. This is a completely free to download and install and use add-on for Reaper. It's a great set of tools that really do expand the arsenal that's already quite comprehensive inside Reaper. So I recommend heading on over to the website, downloading them and installing them. I'll put a link in the description below this video so you can find it quickly and easily. But let's take a look at the SWS extensions and how we can use one important feature to improve our workflow and our ability to make multiple mixes, multiple edits to our particular track, save those out in various different states and call them back up so we can compare them quickly and easily with minimal fuss and only having one file to work with as opposed to multiple different copies of the same track. Once you've installed the SWS extensions, you'll find inside your Reaper environment, you'll have a new menu called Extensions. And if we click on that, you can see there are quite a lot of options inside there. We're not going to concentrate on many of these. In fact, we're going to take a look at one in this particular video. But in future videos, I will cover some of the other powerful extensions that we have as part of the SWS suite. The one we're going to focus on for this particular video is the Snapshots function. So if I scroll down, and click on snapshots, it brings up this pretty unassuming dialog box. So what does it allow us to do? To put it simply, it allows us to create multiple different versions of our file, and we can call those back up at any point. Consider them like big history states. You know you can undo things that you do inside Reaper by simply pressing Control Z or using the, uh, the menu shortcuts, or the menu options. But this is a great way of being able to make multiple different options to your file, you know, including things like adjusting the sliders and the faders, your pan, your muting. Uh, you can adjust your effects. You can turn them on and off. You can adjust the different settings inside there. And then you can save another state with all those changes applied and quickly jump between those two different states. Or, obviously, if you wanted to do more than two, you could do as many as you want. So what I'm going to do in this short tutorial is I'm going to show you some basic examples of this in action and hopefully what it'll do is see the benefits that you're going to get if you're working on a track and you want to try a few different things out without committing to a final mix or without having to create multiple different copies of the same file that just take up a lot of space. So let's see how we start this off. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an initial snapshot state of my mix as it sits at this point in time. So I've always got a zero point or a starting point that I can call back up with a fresh palette and then start making other edits if I want to. So the easy way to do that is simply to come up to the SWS Snapshots palette and click on the new icon in the top right hand corner. That creates a new entry, calls it Mix 1, puts the date and the time and we can add notes and things like that in there. So I could easily just double click on this and give it a name and we'll call this one zero point. So there's our first state. So all the changes we make to this now within our mixing console, our effects pa parameters and quite a few other things, will all take effect and at any point we can go back to the state that is currently in with just a double click. So let's move this off to the side so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to make some random edits to my file. Nothing that is going to make any sense but it's just here to show you what I'm talking about. So let's just deselect all the tracks and just we'll just adjust the levels and the pan and God knows what over these tracks to make them sound incredibly bad but that's not what we're worried about okay so let's bring this back over and I'll save a new state and we'll rename this one from mix 2 to slider mess Let's just put that over to the right hand at the left hand side again and let's just go in and adjust some of the effects parameters that we've got so i'll go to my base main we'll open that up and as you can see i've got an instance of recomp and i've also got an instance of easy mix so let's just turn the compressor off go to easy mix and choose a completely different patch minimize that and we'll do the same again for the guitar master we'll just open that up I'll turn the EQ off, and I'll just turn the compressor off, to be honest. Okay, and let's bring the SWS extensions, uh, snapshots back in, and we'll just create a new one, and this one we'll call, call 
messy effects. So we've got three different states that we can go back through. We've got the original zero point, we've got the one where I've just adjusted the sliders, and then we've got the messy effects where we've got the sliders and we've got the, the effects parameters all being changed. So let's just see how easy it is to call that back up and go to a completely different state. Let's move this over a little bit so we can see what we're doing a bit better. So if we take a look at our mixer, you can see that on my guitar master track on the left-hand side, that my recomp and my re-EQ are both switched off. They're still on the channel, but they're turned off. And on the bass main, you can see we've got Easy Mix still switched on, but the recomp, the compressor, is turned off. So if I just double-click on Slider Mess, take a look and keep your eye on these, and you'll see that they'll come back on and be switched back on. So we double-click, and there we go. So they're switched back on. So if I go back to Easy Mix again, you can see that I've gone back to the original one, the original setting, or the original patch that I, that I had on there, and not the flanger stereo, which was the one I did just to show you the changes. Obviously, that made no difference to the sliders down the bottom because, well, we made those changes from the zero point to the slider mess, and nothing has changed down there. Now, keep an eye on those, and as I click on zero point to reinstate that initial snapshot state, all these we were put back to where they were originally, including my pans, my different levels and adjustments. So let's just double click. And after a second, you can see all of my, my sliders are back to where they were. And just to show you that that's not a one way trip, if I do messy effects, you'll find that the recomp will switch itself back off. And the same on the Guitar Master as well as the EQ. My sliders will all go back to the way they were in the slider mess state. Let's just show you. Double click, and there we go. You can see all the effects have switched themselves back off, and if I go back to my Easy Mix, you'll see that we're back on a flanger stereo, not on messy bass like we were originally. So hopefully what you can see with this brief tutorial covering the SWS snapshots is that it's a great way of being able to create multiple different versions of your mix and just try things out. You can adjust and you can tweak and you can make changes, without worrying about making a complete and utter mess of it. You can jump back to any history state you want simply by double-clicking. Only thing I would recommend is when you make some changes, or before you make those changes, save a copy or create a new snapshot, then edit it, because it's much easier than getting halfway through it and thinking, damn, I've got to go right the way back to my zero point because I didn't save before I made these changes. I hope you found this video tutorial useful. Hit the subscribe button, share with your friends, give us a like on Facebook. Get in touch if you want anything in particular covered in a future video tutorial. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>